Hello, peace to you. How we all want peace, whether in our world or in our relationships. We search for it, we try to work harder for it, but somehow it either just slips through our fingers or just lasts for a moment. It's a little bit like going for an early morning walk on the beach. The sun is shining and the waves are gently lapping on the shore. But we know within moments that we have to return to reality. Do we long for that deep inner peace that the world doesn't seem to be able to offer? We so often blame others, but do we need to look within our own hearts? Are we at peace within? Is peace really possible? Are we at peace with God? Can that be a reality? Well, the wonderful news is, yes, we have peace with God and deep inner peace within. Jesus said, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. How is that possible? Well, Paul gives us an answer in Ephesians 2 that we've been looking at. And today we're looking at verses 16 and 17. And in this one body, to reconcile both of them to God through the cross, by which he put death to death their hostility. He came and preached peace to you who were far away and peace to those who are near. Now you may be thinking, what on earth does that mean? Well, let's see. Now I know in today's culture, we don't like the word sin, but it doesn't take away its reality. Sin breeds a quarrel between God and man, a separation. But the wonderful news is that Jesus came to take up the quarrel and bring it to an end by dying on the cross. As Paul puts it, bringing reconciliation between God and man. Jesus came so that through believing in him, we can have inner peace with God and with our fellow man. And the wonderful news is that this peace is offered to all. It brings a harmony in our relationship with God. It brings a harmony and a rest in our inner being. It brings peace with our fellow man. Paul tells us in verse 17 that it's for all humanity, whatever the circumstances. To have inner peace with God. To know that you are so loved, you are forgiven. To have peace that the world cannot offer. To have a deep peace that is not reliant on your circumstances or others. And though the world shakes, you can have that inner peace. Not because of your own merit or mindfulness, but because of what Jesus did for you on the cross. Does it sound too good to be true? Do you long for that inner peace? Well, you can have it simply by asking Jesus to come into your life. Give us a call or an email if you want to know more about that and details you'll find on our Facebook page or on our website. You may already have a relationship with Jesus, but right at this moment you're struggling to find that inner peace that you once had. Maybe because of things that have happened or things that are happening right now. At the moment, we're living in a high state of anxiety. The good news is that the peace is still there. It's just about refocusing back on Jesus and asking him to fill you afresh. Jesus says, come to me and I will give you deep inner rest and peace. I hold you in my love. The love that I showed you when I died on the cross. My peace I give to you, wherever you are or whatever you are doing or going through right now. Hear the whisper of my heart. My peace 
is yours. I pray that the Lord will fill you today with his deep inner peace that the world cannot destroy.